Yeah, we have Mike Perry on standby. Let's go, Mike Perry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he, he's ready to jump in in case Tommy pulls out. Welcome to Quick Rip. Big B here with ya. Hope you're doing well out there, fight fans. Hey, we got some fight news for Jake Paul. Finally, he is set to take on uh, a boxer, professional boxer in Tommy Fury. Uh, it all came out official just a few days ago. It's going down on February 26 from Abu Dhabi. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a pay-per-view that'll run you about $50. So uh, it is what it is. 50 bucks ain't too bad for... Uh, for an evening of enjoyment. I mean, realistically, I don't know what the rest of the card is, and uh, more than likely, it's not going to be uh, anything that people are paying the money for. They're going to pay for the main event. That's pretty much it, uh, as, as far as I can tell thus far. Now, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, Jake Paul's finally going to take on a boxer, looking to prove a lot of haters wrong, and you know what? I don't. Uh, I, I like the fight. I have no problem with the fight. No, uh, no problem whatsoever. I'll be watching. Because um, you know what, Jake Paul in the beginning, I thought he was. I thought he was a fucking joke and couldn't take him serious at all, really. Um, but through his fights uh, and as he's progressing through his uh, combat sports career here, uh, he's kind of won me over, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never thought I'd even be talking about uh, Jake Paul more than once or twice on this channel, but I think I've already, uh, I think I've already beaten that number. So away we go. Now, really, what I wanted to talk about um, was the fact that Jake Paul came out uh, at the press conference on Saturday and said that Mike Perry is the backup fighter in case Tommy Fury does not make the walk, which is absolutely fucking stellar. Um, this is a rare case where I think I like the backup fighter matchup more than the initial fighter. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm, not, I'm one of them that wouldn't mind seeing him test himself against a professional boxer in, in Tommy Fury, but um, eh, history doesn't lie. Uh, Tommy Fury already already failed to to fucking make it happen once. Um, Saturday at the press conference, Tommy Fury actually no showed, so uh, it was just Jake Paul there. They were supposed to have a stare down, uh, take a bunch of media questions, all that good jazz, and uh, Tommy Fury no showed. So I don't know, folks. It's usually not a good sign when you uh, when you don't show up for the for the press conference. I mean, it's, there's no doubt there's a there's a big bag of loot. Um, being dangled in front of Tommy Fury and like why why not you can fucking guarantee you if uh, the initial matchup was Jake Paul versus Mike Perry Mike Perry would have been at that pre press conference he probably would have been the first fucker there um, that fucker's not going to miss out on, on an opportunity like that so I don't know take it for what it is uh, it's usually not a good sign history uh, once again doesn't lie uh, how many times have people not shown up to the press conference and and actually made that fucking walk to the to the ring or the cage, whatever it may be? I mean, unless your name is uh, is a Diaz, it rarely rarely fucking happens. We just saw it with uh, Dildo Danis there, with him not showing up to the press conference. Said he didn't want to go and he had other shit to do or whatever. And uh, did he make the walk? No. So. Chances are actually fairly good that we might see here Jake Paul versus Mike Perry, Platinum Perry, which would be a fucking stellar matchup. Uh, as I say, I, 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 I do want to see Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, but there's a big fucking part of me that, that likes the matchup in, in Mike Perry versus um, Jake Paul just a little bit more. And personally, for a guy like me, Jake Paul would get absolutely more respect um, if he could go out there and, and put on a clinic against someone like Mike Perry um, over somebody like Tommy Fury, who who never has really seemed interested in this matchup. 
um, going back to the first time they were fucking supposed to fight. So we're going to see here really soon because this is less than a month away. Um, I don't know. Like I say, there's a, there's a big part of me that, that wants to see uh, Tommy Fury drop out and, and, and Mike Perry sneak in there because I think it would be an absolutely fucking stellar matchup. And you know what? If anybody deserves a bag of fucking coin, it's Mike Perry. Let's be honest. Um, I, I would almost rather see him get the payday over over someone to like Tommy Fury who who's repeatedly failed to show up to shit that you're being paid millions of fucking dollars for. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. It, it almost seems like it's just a big game to, to Tommy Fury to to waste Jake Paul uh, Paul's time and uh, just try and fuck him over in that way. I, I honestly don't know what uh, what the motive is there. But as I said, we're going to see real soon. Hey, let me know down in the comments, who do you want to see? You want to see Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury? Or you want to see Jake Paul versus Mike Perry? I mean, both matchups are appealing, but I'm leaning a little bit more towards Perry because I know damn well Perry is going to bring the violence and uh, there's no fucking way that uh, there's a dive being taken there um, as far as conspiracy theories going on out there. <laughs> While you're there, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, stay up to date, everything combat sports here, cover a lot of BKFC, MMA, and a little bit of boxing on the side as well. Till next time, everybody, take care and peace. I think the